Hey everyone, it's Liz Jones over the Jones Realty Group. I just wanted to go ahead and introduce you to a very special person. This is Deneen Ashworth with Compass HR. And we've met, I, gosh, it's been a number of networking mm -hmm. events right now. Absolutely. And uh, Deneen was giving a, a speech, a talk on, I think it was sexual harassment training. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of my clients and um, my database, they're all business owners. A lot of you are business owners. Mm -hmm. And in California, we have so much regulation <laughs> that it frightens me. It really does. It literally <laughs> keeps me up at night. So um, I wanted to bring in Deneen, see if she could be helpful for you, and tell us a little bit about at least two of those things that we were talking about uh, that California has put into practice and how Deneen and her organization can help you. So without further ado, let's talk about the fun sexual harassment. <laughs> the, the thing no one really wants to train on. But as of January 1st of 2019, all employers with five or more employees have to train non-supervisory as well as supervisory staff by the end of this year, regardless if they did it before or if they're current, you know, or they just, they have to do it this year. It is required. Okay, so if I have five employees mm -hmm. and they're all on payroll, mm -hmm. then I am required by the state of California before December mm -hmm. to get them sexual harassment training. Correct. Okay. You do. And then tell me what that looks like. Tell me how long it is. Tell me what kind of costs there's associated, where they can get the training. Okay. So it is one hour. If you are non-supervisory, it is two hour for supervisory. And I've done something a little different and I combine them together. So the first hour is for everybody, non-supervisory leaves. And then supervisory stays for the second hour to be, it's better for the employer. Right. For their time, you're only blocking out two hours instead of a one hour and a two hour. Wow. And um, the cost is $25 per non-supervisory per employee and $35 per supervisory. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, yeah, and then I discount as well for larger groups and things oh, like that. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. And I understand that in, in my case as a realtor, sometimes you've actually been at the board before. For those of you that are on my database as fellow <laughs> realtors, um, you've been at the board giving uh, the sexual harassment training too. Yes. Yes. So I, I do. I work with the Chamber of Commerce, Marietta Wildemar Chamber of Commerce as well. So oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Well, I hope you look her up for that. <laughs> um, and then there was something that really caught my eye, and mm -hmm. it, it really affected my industry. I mm -hmm. think it also affected hairdressing industries. A lot of where we have private contractors or independent contractors mm -hmm. that do something, and probably even in some cases, the construction industry too. Yeah, huge. It, mm -hmm. And it's called Dynamex? Dynamex. Okay. Some people say Dynamics. It oh. depends on which attorney you're talking to, okay. how they're going to pronounce it. <laughs> so why don't you tell them quickly a broad view of what Dynamex is. Okay, so Dynamex decision came down at the end of April in 2018, and it really redefined what an independent contractor looks like. We used to use the Borello test that was a little more vague. Now we're using the ABC test, and it looks at the assumption of control that the workers' duties are beyond the course of the normal okay. work that the employer does. That's the hard one. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're looking at do they are they consistently engaged mm -hmm. in that in that industry? Okay. You know, it can't be a hobby worker coming okay. in and just sure. you're the only client for them. Right. Um, you know, and they're actually looking at it as retroactive, which kind of is not a fun thing no. for employers because they were like, I was compliant. I was audited by the EDD, and now they're coming back and saying I wasn't compliant even wow. though they had passed prior. Okay, so for those of you that are just getting this picture, so for, uh, let's say a realtor, so you might hire some other employees that are 1099 uh, mm -hmm. helping you out, okay? Mm -hmm. If they do the same thing that you do, um, and they work for you, uh, the state wants them to be an employee mm -hmm. for you. They removing do. Removing taxes, um, you know, uh, paying taxes, whatever. Hourly, you know, you have to track their hours, you have to pay them by hour and not just by project. And what you were saying is that in some cases the state will go back in time to get us on some of that stuff. Yes. Because the state needs their money. Yeah. So, <laughs> 
So and this is changing the face of a lot of industries. And I know it changed the face. I had employees or I had contractors that right. became employees as mm -hmm. a result. I mean, it wasn't fun for them either because no. they're getting less money in their check. It, it was right. And challenging. there's less write offs for the workers now because they can't write off their business expenses and the employer has to cover those in certain cases as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of expense across the board mm -hmm. for employers. Absolutely. These are huge things. They are. So now, obviously, there's going to be ways that people are going to ask questions about that. If they haven't heard this mm -hmm. or they're just hearing this mm -hmm. for the first time on this video, mm -hmm. they need to be able to reach out to you. Absolutely. What is the best way that they can do that? So they can call me. Um, my telephone number is 951-216-5474. Or they can go on my website, which is mycompasshr.com. And there's a page that they can, it just goes to my email, any kind of an info sheet. That's awesome. And they can reach me out. I do give a free one-hour HR consultation for anyone who does reach out. That's awesome. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I found Deneen to be an incredible resource, and I'm so very grateful for her time and, and her your expertise is amazing. So uh, again, this is Deneen Ashworth with Compass HR. I'm Liz Jones with the Jones Realty Group, and until the next time. Thank you.